Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. I do air fryer videos every Friday or every other Friday depending on when I can get them out for you guys. Today we are going to be making bacon wrapped tater tots and I'm going to be following the recipe from the book that I got in my air fryer. If you guys missed my unboxing video from my new air fryer, check that video out and I go over a lot of the um, settings and stuff with the air fryer. I did make one about five months ago, but this one ended, or that one ended up dying, so we had to get another one. So we'll be using the new one today, and um, we'll be following along with this recipe and the french fry setting on the air fryer. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, in some of my other videos, I really didn't mention a lot on the settings and I didn't use a lot of the settings that were on there. I just went ahead and set the temp myself and put it down to the temperature that I needed. But today we're doing a preheat air fryer setting. I'll show you how to do that. And then we're going to be doing the french fry setting, like I said, and then follow along and do the recipe. So we're gonna get started right now, cutting up the things that we need. I have some things prepared ready. I think I just have my cheese, cheese measured out. I have my tater tots right here ready to go. I have my scallions ready to be cut and the bacon I'm going to be cutting in half. So the recipe, depending on the quart size that you have uh, air fryer, uh, two to three quart serves two people and you're going to need a 16 ounce bag of tater tots, 12 ounce medium size bacon slices and a one fourth cup shredded cheddar cheese. I'll leave the recipe for both of these down in the description for you guys to follow per quart size. And I'm gonna be doing the five to seven quart uh, recipe because mine's a seven quart. I'm gonna be using one 16 ounce bag of tater tots, one medium size bacon slices, and a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Um, you also can add some scallions and sour cream to yours. I don't have sour cream today, but I'm gonna to be topping mine with some sriracha just because I want to have it a little bit more spicy. I didn't mention in the two and three quart that you also add scallions and sour cream to yours also, but I will list this all down below and you guys can follow that. And then I also listed down below how to get an air fryer at Instapot and then um, an accessory kit for your air fryer. There's two down there if you wanna check it out. I have one of them and um, you can just look at both of them and see which one would fit your air fryer. I'm, the, the links that are down below are for something that's gonna be fitting in this air fryer. So you're gonna to wanna to kinda of do your own little research on what's gonna fit your air fryer. This is a Power XL Vortex one, so you might be using a different style one or a different size, so you're gonna to wanna to see which one is gonna fit that. So other than that, let's get started so we can try out these um, what sound like yummy bacon wrapped tater tots. I'm excited to try these. Um, I did not do this recipe yet, so we're just going to try it out today and see if we like it. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting the bacon in half. So I just, what I did is I had a 24 ounce size bacon package and it requires a 16 ounce. So I'm just going to I just took part of the package out and then I'm just gonna cut them in half. The recipe does not mention for you to have to do that, but I figure it's gonna be a little bit easier wrapping the bacon around the tater tots. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut that right up. So that's done. That was really fast and easy. And then it asked for four scallions. So depending on how you like to eat um, your scallions, I like a little bit of the white added and a little bit of the scallion part. So that's totally up to you on taste of how you like it, but I'm gonna be using both today.
Let's get started with wrapping our tater tots. I'm just gonna grab a cutting board right here and we are going to put some slices down here of the bacon. We'll just kind of line some up here, make it a little bit faster for us to wrap them. If you guys want, leave a comment down below in the comment section if you guys have made these. Um, if you have made anything out of your book yet or if you're just following along my videos and making what I'm making or have you been kind of searching around uh, cooking some other stuff up. So let me know if I do not have comments down in my comments area, go over to Facebook, 10 Kids in a Garage, um, and you can leave me messages there or go on Instagram. I have everything down in the description if you guys want to message me that way. I think I have my email down there and stuff so you can message me and uh, leave me, you know, a message on what you guys are cooking up lately. I know we all have been stuck in the house lately because of everything that's going on. And I know a lot of us have been cooking a little bit more than usual. So maybe you guys are using your air fryer more than you have been before. So why don't you guys just let me know if you guys are doing that or not. I think this is gonna be much easier using the smaller sliced bacon. Uh, I just didn't, I don't think it would cook evenly if I were to um, use a full piece. So we're just gonna start with this. Another thing with cooking in the air fryer, I mentioned it in my other video that you have to shake in between. Um, with you doing this recipe, you do not have to shake in between. So we're just gonna put them in there and do the cook time and that's pretty much what we need to do. So I'm gonna preheat my air fryer and I will show you that setting in a little while. All right, while I wrap these guys up, I'm just gonna show you real quick on the preheat setting. So what you're gonna want to do is start your air fryer, turn it on. You're going to press the french fry setting if you have it, and then you're gonna bring it down to three minutes and just let it cook on out. So let's just get that started. And then I'm gonna continue to wrap these. You're gonna hear it cook. That's going, we're gonna preheat that and then we're gonna to continue to wrap, and then when that is finished, we're gonna place these in here, and then I'll show you the setting that you need to do next. preheat is finished it is off it's just kind of um, just shutting down right now so we're gonna open this up put our bacon wraps in there and I don't know about you guys but my whole family loves bacon and we all love tater tots we all love scallions and we all love cheese so hopefully this is gonna be pretty tasty so let's just pull this out I also got this little guy from um, my accessory kit. It's just like a heat pad that you can put your air fryer on so you don't have to put your basket while it's hot on your countertop. So I got one of them. Now what it says not to do is overcrowd. So I'm going to see if I can get all of these in here without overcrowding them. We want them to be able to cook evenly all the way around. So. Let's just see here. And I'll show you how I have the lineup when I get them all in. Okay, 
Okay, so I showed you guys how I placed them in there. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I got 17 in there. I have a couple more off to the side that we'll cook up after, but let's get started with the setting. We are going to press the power button. You're going to want to do your french fry setting, and it's bl blinking right there. It's going to start and we're going to bring that down to eight minutes we're going to let that cook up and then when that is finished we're going to check and see if it's done and then we're going to top it with some cheese and scallions okay so the cooking time is up the eight minutes are done and the tater tots are finished so let's get them plated up and try them out I'm gonna tap them with the cheese and scallions. Now, if you want your cheese and scallions heated up, you can put them in there for another minute. I won't do any more than that. There it is. How does that look, guys? That is, it smells, it smells amazing, so. I'm excited to try this out. I'm gonna put some sriracha on top and then I'm gonna have the kids also try it too. Some of them might want the sriracha on, some of them might not. So we'll see what they think of this, but they look delicious. So I'm gonna try this out and see how it tastes. So I'm gonna put some of this on top. Now you guys don't need to add this if you don't want to. And like I said with the recipe, it calls for sour cream. I just don't have that right now, so I'm not gonna try it with the sour cream. So you guys can top this with anything that you would want. You could also add like taco meat to this. You could add, add tomatoes, jalapenos, um, anything really that you would like to top this with. You could also maybe add some scrambled eggs to this also. You could scramble them up, put them underneath, and then top all of this on top of your scrambled eggs. So that sounds really yummy too. So I'm gonna give this a try and see if I like it. It might be kinda hot here, so we'll see. Mm. It's really good. Sorry. My dishwasher is going to right now, but this is really good. Um, the tater tot is still like crunchy and soft. It's not overcooked. I think the preheat makes it cook a little bit um, better and it only needed eight minutes for my air fryer. So make sure you guys are, maybe check it at six or seven minutes to see if the bacon is finished. Um, but for my air fryer, it was done at eight minutes. Hey guys, hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. That lets me know that you guys are enjoying my air fryer videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more air fryer videos. And don't forget to maybe share with family and friends that are interested in air frying. That would help out my channel also. But other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next one.